So, okay, here's the deal. I'm kind of pent up with energy right now. Uh, little argument, little arguments. I swear, arguing with your wife is like collecting evidence for the counseling. All right, anyway. <clears throat> I like Darkwood. I've been playing it off camera for a while and I'm just stuck. I'll get back to Darkwood, but I, I just want to relax right now and play a video game. So w without further ado. This is Merchants of Kaidan. Um, how to explain this game real quick. Uh, first off, this is... So I'm a filthy casual, so this is a filthy casual game. I move everything in place. Sorry, I've been doing NaNoWriMo, so... Uh, my desk is a mess with notes and little letters to myself talking about character development. Oh my god, I just need to relax. I just need to relax. Ah, listen to that relaxing music. Look at that relaxing horse. Is that a horse? I forgot what they're called. I probably will never get one because they don't seem like they're worth it to me. This is a trade simulator. Now, uh, I, I'm, I kind of like trade simulators. I was a huge, huge fan of uh, Uncharted Waters or, yeah, it was Uncharted Waters for, for the Sega Genesis. And I made a huge map of like the world from Uncharted Waters. Like I was very careful about mapping out every little thing. It was really cool. And uh, after that, I've tried other trading games. Um, I remember Ocean Trader for the DOS, for the DOS, not any other DOS. Don't, don't accept substitutes. Anyway, Merchants of Kaidan I've played a little bit so far of, and my general feeling is, one, it's hard as balls. It's probably the hardest trade simulator I've ever come across. The world really is bent against you, especially in the beginning. Um, I have just, the, the highest rank I got was, I think, like, basic trader like level two trader because the way this works is you have to make deals with the guild and you cannot trade certain items in, unless you are are uh, up with the guild we'll get to that i don't know how long i'm going to be playing this i'm i told you i'm just i just need to relax man i just need to fucking relax let's try a new game actually before we try a new game i'm gonna check to see if this came out okay Okay, I've, uh, I've lowered the volume a little bit for you guys. Sorry about that. Let's start a new game. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Small adventure, big adventure, one year, five years. I've just done a one year game and, oh man, it's hard to get out of the beggar status. Five years might be fun. Merchant's dream, avenge your father's death. I don't really care about my father. Can, can, I mean, can bring him back from, can I bring him back from the dead? That, that'd be really cool. Uh, how many gold is that? One, two, three, that's a million gold. That's a million gold. Let's do that. You start off with nothing. <laughs> like a cart, a horse, a ring. That's it. That's all you start with. Oh. So, um, <clears throat> this game. This game is rough. And I'm going to explain to you a, a little bit like how, how to get... A little bit around uh, around it, you know? I'm a skilled merchant. I know what to do. Fuck you. All right. Let's see. I got 38 gold. That's not enough. There's This starts with a T. It's like Terran or Tavern or something. They don't actually say. We start in the capital of all merchants, the uh, Overos. And um, first thing we need to do is go to the shop, which is this icon right here. And we need to sell our ring, which is 1,500 gold. That's actually quite a bit. Let's sell that. Do we have anything else to sell? No, we got nothing else. Uh, all right. Uh, I'll explain the icons first off. This is us. Uh, we are of beggar status. We have this much gold, 1538. This is how many diamonds we have. Sometimes you need diamonds in order to do trades. I have never got to that point. This is how much uh, cargo we have right now in our carts. We can get uh, 300 kilograms, we have zero. Uh, this is our luck. Luck actually is important. And uh, you probably can't read the text because it's so small, but it's rated from negative three to three. I'll explain. Getting, getting a high luck is real easy and uh, will certainly help as the game goes on. 
In the beginning, you want to take as many quests as possible. I'll get to that too. Here's how many specialists we have. Honestly, there's only one specialist I'm interested in, and it's for later. Okay, this is all of our cargo. Uh, these are all the types of cargo we can have. Uh, right now, the only thing we can really trade is food, olive oil, which never trade olive oil. Never. <clears throat> Make sure you hear me clearly here. Do not trade olive oil. All right. Um, hides. Food and hides are a good way to begin the game because you don't really have a choice. Ore, which is a little bit trickier because ore is heavy, but uh, I know a good place where you can you can find some cheap ore to sell it. Uh, let's see here. Hill herbs, which I think is broken. You know what I said about the olive oil? That goes doubly so for hill herbs. Um, and ice. I've never traded ice. I think it's possible, but but I've, I've never traded ice. All right, here's our carts. We have one cart and nobody to drive it. Um, do we really have nobody? Yeah, you start with zero employees. We need to buy an employee when we come back. And you have to pay your employees a daily wage of a certain amount of gold per, per day. Uh, now there's gold and silver coins. Um, I'm not real sure what the denominations are because it's not like one-tenth or anything easy. It's like, eh, whatever. I ignore the silver. It's just change anyway. Okay, this is our carts, our wagons, our covered wagons. We have none of these. Our maximum capacity is in one of our carts, which is 300. We'll get to that. Uh, we have no investments yet. I really want to get to that, but uh, I have yet to get to this point. And quests. And we have four kinds of quests and all of them together. The quests, probably the best way to make money in the beginning of the game. And this is what items we have. I Some of the items make sense most of the time you just sell them, even the ones that are supposed to help you. And here's a little tip thing. Ooh, hill herbs. Actually, I know nothing about hill herbs, so I'm gonna read this out loud to you. Because that's what you want, right? Me reading out loud. An inauspicious plant with corrugated leaves growing on the mountain meadows in the barbarian lands. For centuries, barbarians dried the leaves and drank the broth made from them. This brew this brew, consumed right before battle, or during shamanic rites, cleared the mind... Yeah, it's past tense. Cleared the mind and introduced the person into a state of trance. Travelers from the barbaric lands carry this herb with them when going back to the kingdom. The only kingdom. The original. And it quickly raised in popularity... Some of the farmers even started a hill herb farms on their land. A hill herb farms. I'm not reading that wrong. That actually says a hill herb farms. Unfortunately, regular, regular use of the hill herbs leads to fatal health consequences. Dun, dun, dun. Therefore, a wise king, Basil II, banned the use of and trade of the herb and lands on which it illegally grows. He ordered to burn as well as their owners. Whoa, uh, okay. <laughs> this situation continues to this day, although the custom of taking the herb would not budge and is imported into the kingdom, but in secret. Supposedly, you can buy it for not so high a price, especially if you have access to where rich people go. What does that mean? I don't know. Herbs are expensive and they sell for crap. Okay, this screen. This is the screen we're probably going to be looking at the most, so let me clue you in. This here is the Shrine to the Blind God. Um, we're going to immediately... Okay, that, that did nothing. Basically, that did nothing. I don't think that affected my luck. Basically, uh, you, you pay heed to the, tri uh, the Blind God. Sometimes he gives you like a, a little bag of spice or sometimes they'll give you luck bonus which is what you're actually in it for most of the time not did that affect my luck no it didn't good uh this is the shop and this is where we buy things and sell things and really the only thing i ever buy is this the five leaf clover but uh oh well Let's see, here's the arm or the workshop. I always call them the armorer, but man, yeah, whatever. This is where we buy carts and things and wagons and ice boxes. Magical chests, I guess, that hold ice. 
We can also buy one of these. A leechalian. Uh, Alright, it's a it's a leech horse. <laughs> okay. They're supposed to be stronger and faster. I don't I don't see the benefit in uh, in investing in them. They they do speed up time, the time it takes to go places, but eh, whatever. Here's the bar. Actually kind of important. Actually kind of important. Let's hire this guy. We need a mercenary to basically uh, run the wagon. And he wants uh, one gold and five silver. Yes, because we need one guy. Now there's a base cost for hiring people on. As you can see here, higher cost, 40 gold. And then a daily cost after that. No, get out of here. Actually, you, wait, let me take a look at that. That's not too bad. Yeah, you're on two, dude. Uh, I like two men. One is mercenary and one is cart driver. Uh, this is a sea navigator. Uh, as far as I've ever seen, there's no benefit to going to the sea. Here is a, uh, a patron. And uh, you can buy them drinks. Let's buy this guy a beer. We're preparing for the war. Aye. No less. What? <laughs> it's time to settle this with them once and for all. With whom? I ain't sure. Hope you're not one of them. Nah, cheers! <laughs> Thanks! You can play a little game of this, which uh, I've, I've never actually played. Trigons. Oh, the name of the gold is Trigons. Maybe the developers were Trigon fans. I never play the game, though. I, I don't want to lose my fingers. And honestly, I don't really see a benefit in it. And the most important place. Trade. Yes. The four big ones, uh, here are herbs. Herbs usually go for like 130 trigons each and sell for only 30. And I'm like, really? Per unit? Really? Whatever, man. Ice is kind of the same way, but ice is harder to get. And there are some places that, that make it worth your while to deliver ice. Ore is okay. Uh, this is a little bit too high for me by about three gold. Yeah, I know they're called trigons. They're gold. You know what I'm talking about. Olive oil. See this? See how it's 41? That's probably the lowest we'll see it. See this? See how it says 35 to sell? That's probably the highest we'll see it. This is never worth your time. Usually you stick with food and hide. And uh, honestly, eight, eight gold for that? That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and grab, stock up on that. Maybe about half. About half. There we go. Okay, and uh, let me see here. Up here is our character. Over here is our cargo. Over here is our quest, which actually becomes more interesting as we go on. This is our save screen. I'm going to save over my last save. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, let's see here. We have this thing right up here. That is for your uh what season it is because it becomes uh right now we're at the beginning of summer uh but let's see spring and summer is when we're going to do our best business fall is kind of troublesome we'll get to fall pretty soon and winter it sucks winter just sucks this is what day of the year it is it is uh day 93 out of uh, uh i think like 350 Maybe? Oh well. And uh, it is year 1218 of our Lord and Master Cthulhu. We have done zero days of travel. Let's go. Here's the map. This is where we go do stuff. Travel. Um, I'm going to let it play normally right now, but there's a button here that speeds up time. I, I generally just have that on all the time. Let's head north to uh, Ergun. Right now we're in uh, Overos, which is fine. And we'll go up north to Dalka. All right, it says it takes two days to travel. This is the travel cost. Travel cost is kind of important. I've never done insurance. Hmm. Hmm. No, 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 it's script. And this is just flavor text. Dalka is just problems. <laughs> Toll on every bridge, stoppage fee. They would even sell their mother for Triguns. Because 
because they like Vash the Stampede. Let's go there. One of your carts broke. Oh my god. Talk about terrible luck. It slows us down quite a bit and we have to repair it. Trust me, you want to repair it. Uh, there is a guy you can hire that will repair for you, and you, there's a repair kit you can give him that basically he takes care of the carts on the way, but man, is he expensive. So uh, I'm not going to worry about him right now. All right. It gives you a summary of what happened. Let's let's go to the armorer and fix that. 86, that's actually cheap for repair. Let's do that. And we just need to do it. We need to do it. We need our, our kit repaired. All right. First thing, always go to trade. What? Why are you even... Get out of here. Holy crap, it's selling for three. It says right here what the average is, the average cost is to buy. Actually, you know what? Seven is good. So rather than selling the food here, I'm going to buy some. Uh, hides are a little bit high here. And hill herbs, fuck hill herbs. This is normal. 136, that's a normal price for hill herbs. Ah, uh, yes, I know. Thank you. It's basically saying, look, there are people. You can gossip with them. I have two mercenaries, nobody to gossip, but if you hold still for a little bit, sometimes people just pop into the tavern, sometimes not. Let's get out of here. Um, there's really nothing else to do in this know-nothing town. Let's head north. I'm trying to get to Urgun. Ur Urgune. Ur Ugune. Urgun. Ur Urgune. You know, I'm just going to do the Latin pronunciation from now on. Five days of travel. Eh. Eh. Really, my biggest problem isn't the, the travel time. It's the toll. Let's head out. All right. After emerging from behind a sharp curve, you saw a... You saw a battlefield. Saw? Not see? Saw? Do you see the saw I see? It seems that a poor merchant was attacked by the, ro the robbers. The original robbers. You are tempted to search the remains of the cart and the corpse. Maybe the robbers missed something. Hmm. I've always said no. But I'll say yes this time. Oh, hey, there's money. All right. <laughs> I've never actually done that. Usually I, I'm too afraid of being caught by leftover guards. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, we'll pay the bridge. Well, our our uh, travel cost was actually paid for us by that dead guy back there. <laughs> All right. And uh, we found a battlefield. We paid the bridge toll. And what the... Get out of here. I don't... I thought I turned tips off. Okay, we're now going to travel in super fast speed. Because, honestly, that gets painful after a while. All right. This uh, exclamation point is not usually there. I don't know if they changed that with an update that I missed or something. Let's see. First thing, gold. Ah, uh, that's all right. I could talk, probably do a little bit better. Not much. This is a quest marker right here. Quests are good, especially when we're just getting started. My dear fellow, I heard you travel a lot. Well, it seems that my wife left a small chest behind when visiting Avaros recently. So, would you be a good man and pick it up for me? My gratitude is measured in cash. Yes, sure, why not? Um, hmm. Hides are way expensive to buy here. Uh, olive oil, fuck olive oil. Ore is actually, ore is usually cheaper than that here. Um, I'm not going to do ore, although... No, no, and uh, I won't sell either. Yes, I will. That was probably a terrible move on my part. I make a lot of bad decisions. I like to play drunk. All right, some new icons here. First off, uh, hello. I always do 100. Ah, not favorable to me today. This is a university. This is for training specialists and leveling them up. They don't level up on their own. You have to send them to a school. And this is for mining. I think mining can be profitable later on, but I've never got that far in this game. Uh, yeah, nobody, uh, let's talk to you. Sure, I'll buy you around. You're an interesting looking guy. Whoa, no, fuck you. Look at this guy. 
He looks like he could eat his own mother. <laughs> oh my god, he's got claws out of his chest. That is metal. The only way to keep them pesky robbers away is to have a wizard with, with your caravan, I say. So when they show up, he just blasts them to smithereens. Yep. I, you would be interested. I'm not... Oh, God. I'm a wizard. Oh, okay. No, really. Well, I lost my wand, but I can still do tricks. Okay, here's one of the things about this game. Um, uh, they they just recently got out of, uh, out of <laughs> early access on Steam. I appreciate the game, guys. I really do. They didn't proofread a lot of their text. They didn't proofread a lot of their texts. Wow. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. We probably won't be visiting the tavern as much, but I like the stories that they come out, that come out of people's mouths sometimes. Uh, someday I'll actually buy some real information about. Wait, wait, who are you? And then an elemental monk. Monks babbling and chattering is no of no value. Thank you. I, I know. But if you place him in the appropriate place, some runes where he can start a monastery, he can be a valuable friend. He will gather the believers and start distilling liquor. Fuck yeah. Then, as a founder, you will be entitled to a percentage from sales. A nice steady stream of income. Oh man. Oh man. No payment up front. Daily pay only five gold. That's that's incredible. Of course, because of my lows. We're a lowly beggar, so we can't do anything here. But still, only five gold, no payment up front? Wow. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Well, in any case, we have a quest to do real quick, but I'm not going to go straight back to Oslo. I say Oslo, it's Overos. I don't know why I said Oslo. There's an abandoned tower here. We're going to visit that. Then we're going to hit uh, Neboro. And then we're going to go back to Overos. So, two days. Yes, this is fine. You always look at the bottom line. Pay. There we go. Because the bottom line does take into account uh, toll bridges. Bridge tolls. Toll bridge tolls. All right, here's why. Now, we can send people in, but we only have the one guy. And honestly, I'm not going to do that. Well, you know what? Yes, I am. This is actually why I got him anyway. Go forth and die. He didn't die. And he got me diamonds and some ore. Awesome. And an item. Oh. Oh, man. Thank you. This is actually great right here. This is awesome. All right. Awesome. No, we're not going to send more men in. We, you can only do this once a day, really, to make it worth your while. Any any further on, and, and it's a little bit of a problem. Uh, basically, there are, um, there are little ruined places around the map, like, uh, like this... Uh, Cromlesh here, which is basically a stone hedge. You can't see it because the clouds are in the way. Uh, this ruined tower right here, which we are at. There's a mine. There's a mini game with the mine. I don't really like the mini game, and I probably won't do it. There's another mine over here. Occasionally, you just come across these little places for adventure, but you don't adventure. You're the money. All right, you play the money. You don't play the adventure in this game. All right, uh, we're also going to go, uh, while he's doing that, we're probably just going to search around the ruins and see what we can find here. Um, you searched the ruined surroundings, but your efforts were fruitless. Darn it. I should probably read some of this text to you guys. An abandoned keep is built over the right arm of the Cresta River. Since the day that a mysterious disease killed everyone, not even the bravest ones come here. There are even warning signs scattered nearby. Well... You don't need bravery when you've got enough money to send a guy into his death. That is what mercs are for. And that's always why I keep uh, at least two people per cart. One to drive and one to protect. Okay, let me see here. How are we doing? We got four ore from all of that. We got some mysterious item from that. We got two diamonds from that. Let's go. To ne Neboro. Neboro. I did say the Latin pronunciation, didn't I? Pronouncement. Ah, damn it. Cart broke. Alright, well, that added an extra day of travel. We need to fix the cart. See, 100, that's normal. Ah, uh, pay. Damn. It's a 
lot of bad luck. Damn it.